we have to be careful how we express our viewpoints concerning the events that are happening at this very hour. I firmly believe that we're nearing the time that the Bible speaks of as the rapture of the church. But I have to be honest with whoever is listening to express my real thoughts. Uh, it's very, it's, it's very Im much Im uh, improper to try to be or act like a prophet because there's so many things that have to come to pass. But I simply uh, state that, that we could very well be living so near the rapture that it becomes a, it, it becomes a, an all-consuming uh, thought that deserves our utmost attention. So if in fact we're living at that momentous time in history, it's time for people to examine themselves to make sure that they're ready to meet the Lord. And you know, that's, that's my basic uh, thoughts and, and a lot uh, of how I spend my time in trying to, to uh, decipher or interpret or come to some viewpoint as to what's happening. Uh, it's, it's a tremendous time in which we live. It may be years to come, but my honest opinion is uh, I think we're getting close to that time where the, there, there will be a, a great parting of the way and how sad it'll be for those who are left to endure the persecution of the tribulation period, which means uh, it will be a time of trouble the lack of which the world has never seen. Millions of people will die. And if anyone who spends a little time <coughs> trying to, uh, you know, to understand what's happening, it's a frightening time. It's, it's, it's both a frightening time and also a glorious time. Because to the Christian, our hope lies in the, in the coming of Christ, which, which means that if his coming is very near, it means that very soon we'll be with him and, and we'll be absent from the body but present with the Lord. So I pray that everyone will give thought and consideration to the, to the seriousness of what we're facing. So I'll have more to say later on.